welcome to my channel and today I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to crochet this cardigan. What you will need is a crochet hook, a darning needle, a pair of scissors and any yarn of your choice. I'll be using three different colours, pink, purple and white with a 4.5mm crochet hook. If you are using yarn that is thicker or thinner than mine, then you may have to use a different size crochet hook. So to start making this cardigan, you'll grab the end of your yarn and begin by making a slip knot. To make a slip knot, you'll create a little circle with your yarn, then take the longer strand and insert it into the circle. And now you pull the other strand of your yarn, the shorter end, until you have this loop. Take your crochet hook and insert it into the loop. Pull the two strands until it fits comfortably on your hook. And now you've created the slip knot. Now we'll chain 23. You'll do this by wrapping the yarn over the hook and then pulling it through to create a chain. You should have something that looks like this. Now we're going to half double crochet to create our squares. So to do this, you're going to wrap the yarn over your hook and you're going to skip the first chain and insert the hook into the second chain from your hook. Now you should have three loops on your hook that you can pull through and that is how you create a half double crochet. Now you're going to repeat the same step until you've reached the end of your row. Once you've reached the end, you should have something like this from the half double crochet. To start the next row, you're going to chain one and turn your work around. To do this, you're going to remove the crochet hook and reinsert it through the back loop. Now you're going to continue to half double crochet until you've created the full square.
The length of my square is around 11 centimeters, but this may differ if you're using a different type of yarn. Just make sure that the size of all of your squares are the same so that it's easier for you to stitch them together. Once you've completed each square, make sure to cut off the yarn. It should look something like this. Now repeat the same process until you have enough squares for your cardigan. Here we're going to make the cuffs for the cardigan, so you're going to make your slip knot and then chain 9. Once you've done that, you're going to single crochet into each chain. Once you get to the end of your first row, then chain one and turn your work. For the rest of the rows, you're going to continue single crocheting, but into the back loops only. This is what your cuffs should look like and make sure you crochet two of these. Here we're going to crochet the bottom ribbing of the cardigan. So start with your slip knot and chain 11. This time, instead of single crocheting, we're going to half double crochet, just like what we did for the squares. Make sure to skip the first chain and insert your hook into the second chain from your hook.
for this next row you're going to half double crochet again but you're only going to insert your hook into the back loops Now we're going to create the front ribbing for the cardigan. So here instead of chaining 11, we're going to chain 10. And you're going to repeat the same process as you did with the bottom ribbing. Now we can start assembling the cardigan by putting the squares together. For reference, I used a jacket to lay out how many squares I would need for the front and back. This way you can tailor your cardigan to fit you perfectly, so if you want a more oversized fit, then you can add more squares. So now you're going to take a piece of yarn and you're going to get your darning needle to stitch the squares together. Insert your darning needle into both squares and make a knot to prevent your cardigan from falling apart. So this is how you're going to stitch the squares together and you want to make sure that you're using 
a color that is similar to your squares that way the color won't be too noticeable afterwards Once you get to the end, you want to secure your yarn, so insert the needle back in to the last loop and create a knot like this. This way your yarn will not come apart. To finish off, we need to weave in the remaining piece of yarn to make sure that it is fully secure. And lastly, just make sure to cut off any little bits of yarn that are still sticking out. So now you're going to repeat this process by stitching your squares together until you've reached your desired size. I'll be starting with the sleeves so to do this I've laid out all the squares that I'll need and you want to make sure that you don't put the same colors next to each other to close off the sleeve you want to make sure that you flip it so that the back side is the side that you are stitching on just because this side will be messier and it'll be on the inside so it won't be visible Once it's closed up, it should look something like this. And now we're just going to attach the cuff to our sleeve as well. And again, make sure you flip the sleeve inside out before you stitch them together. To stitch the cuffs onto the sleeves, you'll need to skip a few stitches on the sleeves. This way it will create a tighter appearance on the cuffs so that it will fit you better. This is what it should look like when it's done. The cuffs should fit my wrist perfectly. For the back panel, I'm using five squares in length, but for the front, I'm only using four, and that's because we need to stitch on the front ribbing. This is what your final product should look like. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe.